Hello, trading has closed on December 12th, 2018. Let's go over our calls. Look for the pattern with the early high, which we got. Said unless we get over this high, this target probably wouldn't print. We'll add that to the list. So the commonest thing was to get outside yesterday's range. And if that didn't happen, which it didn't, next most common thing was to close with a little change. We closed off half a point, so that one worked. Tomorrow's pattern is the one with the early low. It tends to be a good rally day. Closed near the high. If it is a negative day, almost always it's because it fails early by moving down sharply in the first hour or two. If we can avoid that, we should have a good update. Here's your ultimate sell signal. Here's the minimum target. Usually you get more than we did. System said this rally was false and wouldn't stick. Said the drop was false and wouldn't stick. This is three days straight where we've gapped up and closed under the early consolidation. It's a negative pattern. But it's invalidated if we gap over the day's high, preferably over this one, but at least over this one. At least we have to trade over it early. However, after three days straight of dropping all day long, we closed over all the lows. It's a positive pattern. It's invalidated. If you gap and probably take out this low. So the commonest thing for tomorrow is you gap outside the range. Next most common is close. It'll change again. You have the big move on Monday. Now, as far as guessing for which direction, and you have conflicting indicators, it is somewhat of a guess. It's probably going to be clear by the open. And I know futures are down as I'm recording this, but I think the odds favor a strong rally tomorrow. This had all the makings of a good decline as I've, as I've discussed. Still have this higher target, even though it doesn't have to print anytime soon. This rally looks impulsive. This pullback looks overlapping and corrective. It's also pretty much a Fibonacci retracement of this rally. It's pretty much a Fibonacci retracement of this rally too. To me, as impulsive moves up, corrective moves to down. All we have to do is avoid moving down sharply in the first hour or two. We could have a good rally. Now, the long-term picture is pretty bleak, but that doesn't mean you drop every day. This is A, this is probably B. If this were to be C, this could be A and B, and this could be C down. But I wouldn't expect it to start with this overlapping move. So I'm thinking this is A of C, and that's A, B, and one more fling up. And then we can start to to, to drop. And um, don't forget we have resistance around 2700, also around 2688. But um, one more fling up would put the B. You'd have A. This would be this would be your B. You'd be still in wave C. But then you start to drop from, from that point. So I think tomorrow's early action is going to be critical. Pattern with the early low, late high, tends to be an all-day rally. And as long as we avoid moving down sharply at the open, gapping down the undesired direction, there should be a good rally. Real confirmation of a good rally would be gapping 
either in either direction and promptly taking out this high. That's today's call.